Sometimes the true measure of success at our state capitol is the legislation you prevent from happening. As the Pennsylvania Medical Society looks back on the latest two-year legislative session, several key issues illustrate this point. The first is the Medical Society's opposition to Senate Bill 717. This bill would have allowed certified registered nurse practitioners to practice independent of physicians in Pennsylvania. The bill passed the state Senate in June, but thanks in part to your vocal opposition, it did not make it out of the House. The Medical Society will continue supporting policies that emphasize increased coordination and integration rather than provider autonomy. Eliminating the collaborative tie that currently exists between nurse practitioners and physicians is contrary to these proven concepts and would only serve to further fragment patient care. The second key issue that the Medical Society helped shape in recent months was legislation to address Pennsylvania's opioid crisis. The Medical Society is committed to combating opioid abuse and helping physicians effectively care for patients who suffer from chronic pain. We supported many of the recent opioid bills that Governor Wolf signed into law, but we also made sure that legislation took a common sense, patient-centered approach. One of the bills that did not win Senate approval, House Bill 1698, would have mandated health insurers to cover the cost of abuse deterrent opioid analgesic drug products. While the Medical Society strongly supported the underlying purpose of this bill, we expressed concerns when a last minute amendment was added to the legislation. This amendment would have directed the Department of Health to create mandatory prescribing guidelines for abuse deterrent opioid analgesic drug products. It would have also required prescribers to distribute educational materials developed by the Department of Health to every patient they prescribed an opioid to. During this legislative session, we also strongly supported bills to advance telemedicine and enact meaningful insurance reform, such as prompt provider credentialing, a standardized prior authorization process, and limiting retroactive denials. The retroactive denial bill was signed into law. This law bans retroactive denials of reimbursement by insurers to healthcare providers under certain circumstances. This legislation addresses a significant pain point for many physician practices concerning the retroactive denial of health insurance claims. You can learn about other medical society issues that have been addressed during this past legislative session on our website. Stay up to date on important legislative issues by using the Medical Society's new mobile app. A new legislative cycle begins in January and the Medical Society will be there to ensure that physicians have a seat at the table when important policy decisions are discussed. We cannot solve the problems of Pennsylvania physicians and patients without dues support from society members. If you're a member, thank you for your support. If you haven't already done so, please renew your membership for 2017 on our website or by calling the Knowledge Center.